three. Hi, it's Kathy Press again, and I am back with my Geriatric Care One YouTube channel, and I'm doing the VA playlist, and we are on number five. And I was talking last time about uh, the great VA services that counterbalanced in some way, really, the terrible situation the VA has gotten itself into by illegally pretending that there was a waiting list when they really weren't doing anything about it. And this is about the geriatric end, the GREC system. Um, and as you know from watching this, my dad had severe PTSD. Um, and 22% of all uh, vets have traumatic brain injury. That's something to really pay, pay attention to, not just because of World War II, but also what's happening to these Iraqi and Afghani vets. It's probably higher with them. And you are actually much more at risk for Alzheimer's if you had PTSD or traumatic brain injury. Mm -hmm. So you could be looking at a lot more, uh, you know, dementia victims coming up from the Iraqi and, and Afghani vets. Um, but, you know, they, I, in the last video, when you can go back there, you know, I, I went through all the wonderful uh, continuum of care services they have, home care, et cetera. They also have hospice. And they have, you know, uh, the hospice services, you know, they, they, they actually uh, contract with them as well. So hospice services came into my home um, when my dad was dying. And again, I was just a daughter. I was a GCM, that was for sure. But I needed, you know, I needed to be a daughter. And the VA made me that daughter. Um, they have great caregiver support services, and that's really, really important. Because, you know, as I said in another video, I got my first geriatric assessment that somebody did for me, you know, when I teach it. <laughs> but, no, you know, I, I needed that. My dad was dying. I had to face it, and they helped me do that. Um, the VA also has aid in attendance, which a lot of you geriatric care managers are pulling at your hair about, <laughs> and everybody else, like, how do I get that? They hide a lot of these services. They're there. Um, and the VA actually will become a conservator. So my dad, and, and they do that when they're giving benefits. So my dad was 100% disabled, and he also had dementia. So they appointed a conservator within the VA, and they have a whole conservatorship unit within the VA. And that person, he was wonderful. He came every month and, you know, really just talked to me. You know, and we had an outside bookkeeper that kept track so that, you know, all the expenses. Because I, you know, I got through the VA to send my dad to Cindy Celebrations. And this wonderful mm. luncheon program that, you know, they put him in the front seat and played all the music he loved. And, you know, I got him to go to exercise program. I was, I could enrich his life through that. And I paid for it through the VA money, but that had to be accounted for. So, you know, he had a conservator. They have that program. Um, and the last thing that I really want to say about the VA that I absolutely love, medical records even though the Obama, Obamacare, you know, requires this, they're still in silos. If you, I was just at Stanford Hospital and Pam was my doctor. I had my knee replaced, you can't see it. I've been out for six weeks. Pam, in order to figure out what was going on at Stanford, had to print a hundred pages of my medical records and then print them for me because Stanford's in a silo and Pam's in a silo because they don't want to, they don't want to share illegal. Do you know what the VA has? The VA has the largest electronic record, medical records in the world, and they're perfect. They are absolutely perfect. You can go into a computer in the VA and you can find out every single doctor that that, that VA client saw back to 1944. And also you can see it across the board so there aren't drug interactions, you know, they can see everything. And why do they, they have this fabulous, you know, I'm not a technology person, but they have vistas. Mm. I suggest that the Obama administration really think about requiring this. <laughs> but, you know, it's integrated patient delivery through medical records. And that was wonderful for actually me on a personal note, because I could go back and see why, what prison camp he was in. You know, and, and why nobody treated him. And, you know, I didn't go into the computer and ask them. They showed me. They sent me the records. They weren't 100 pages, which I got.
got over the last time I had my hip replaced recently. So uh, we will see you next time. Go to my website, kathycrest.com, and I'm still in the VA.